Mouse? Range bag. Tommy Lee Jones. Mel Gibson. Love this one. And this one, I haven't got a name for it, but I did figure on something popular. I'm going to call this the little shit. Just like I got uh, Jimmy Shaker in there. So therefore, this be my range bag. And, and, coming soon to a range bag near you. I thought a lot about it, and uh, I said, okay, I need a powerful sidearm. I need a powerful sidearm. Because you can't always go into bear country, even though I don't plan on going into bear country or cougar country, but I'll tell you, bam, 9 millimeters cool, and it will get the job done. But, ooh, spoiler alert, I guess you guys know on the 29th I'm going to be picking up a certain sidearm. Look at that. Do you know? Does anybody know what caliber this is? Anybody? If you say 40, you're wrong. If you say 45, you're wrong again. If you say 9 millimeter, <laughs> go up a go up a step. This here is a 10 millimeter, 185 grain bullet. So if I got 10 millimeter ammo, what does that tell you? What I'm getting? Okay, fine. Spoiler alert, I'm getting a Glock 20, which is being purchased, which has been purchased. And uh, basically, it's going to be one of my most, second most powerful next to the shotguns that I got. I can tell you right now, it didn't take me long to make a decision to get a 10 millimeter because I always wanted it. But I said, okay, how expensive is it going to be to keep up with this thing? I figured it was going to cost me a lot, but then I said, you know what? Why don't I just circle around that? And then I found that you know, a 10 millimeter auto, 10 millimeter ammo is not that expensive. And I found a way to get it cheap. <laughs> but it still works like a charm mouse. So, anyhow, I only did what. Oh, okay, I turned off the coffee maker. I don't want that shit burning. Because this is Black Rifle Coffee. is to be treasured. So anyhow, um, T-Electric, Tray 5.7. Those guys are, they're, they're wonderful. I don't know if they know this, but they're wonderful guys. And uh, I really look up to them. And YouTube, uh, stop. I got a strike on my channel. I don't have an itchy trigger finger. I do not. I do not. See? Fingers on the trigger, and I can pull the hammer back, but no. I don't have an itchy trigger finger. And I know plenty of people that might, because they're eager to fire a damn gun. But you got to have a level of patience, you know. If you don't have the discipline up here, then you don't need to own one of those. And this is my range bag, right here. My range bag with all three sidearms in it. Not the fourth one. The fourth one is Jimmy Shaker. Jimmy Shaker has to stay where he is because he's still my main home defense weapon and I'm going to stick with that because I unsuper glued the safety according to California compliant don't alter your firearms because if something happens they're saying like why is this why is that well a little acetone and I uh, kind of mm, unglued the safety God knows I hate safeties I hate safeties and I hate I don't hate AR-15s, even though people have made more suggestions to me to get an AR-15. I told them I already have two powerful shotguns, very, and I consider them rifles. And, like I said, 10 rounds, 10 rounds for an AR-15? No, no, no. It's not a rifle, it's a paperweight, in my opinion. So anybody out there that owns AR-15s, no offense... You know, it's just my preference. I don't want an AR-15. I don't want one in California if I still live. Well, put it this way. Ten rounds is not going to satisfy my... Not going to satisfy my, my, my palate. Because my shotguns, one holds five plus one, six. One holds seven plus one, eight. And I can carry multiple loads, different loads for that thing. Shoot, slugs, buckshot, birdshot, turkey loads, you know, a whole bunch of shit. And shit that I know I can't get, 
I could, but I won't. But I'll never say. Dragon. Dra Dragon's Breath. Oops. Nope. Can't get it. I could, but I won't. Because it's illegal in California. Spelled with a K. So, anyhow. Um, I want to thank T-Electric and Trey57 for opening my eyes a little wider on this. Because they have 40 caliber. You know, and I just said to myself, I always wanted to fire 10 millimeter. I'm curious. So, I fired it. I rented it. And guess what? It met all my expectations. I know how to control it. I know tons about it. And it's a Glock. I said, okay, if I did get a 10 millimeter, it's going to be in a Glock. And I already started stocking 10 millimeter ammunition. It's not as expensive as I thought. Federal is pretty good. $26.99 a box. That's fine. That's fine. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of preference, you know. And basically, no guarantee that I would use 10 millimeter if somebody comes through the door. But if they have body armor, trust me. A 10 millimeter is going to hit hard. Break a few ribs. Break a few hearts. Bust up something. You know, just... Don't worry about purchases when you go to a gun shop. If you use your ATM card, who cares, man? Just just purchase the damn thing. The, you know, and it doesn't even matter. If, if you're on their radar, go to Sonar and stay quiet. That's it. You know, if you pay by card, sometimes people don't pay with cash. Most people pay with card. So what? I purchased my G20, Glock 20, that's coming soon. Very soon. It's already paid for. Had to clear a few things up with the ATF because whatever they said to me was going in one ear and out the other because I didn't give a shit what they said. You know? So I purchased it one day before the purchase date. Who cares? I don't care. I don't. Mouse! So... Anybody out there getting little twiggly fingers about, oh my God, if I pay for it by card, they'll track me. Dude, they just know that you made a purchase. That's it. I mean, unless you're a serious problem, don't worry about it. Just purchase like a normal human being. You know, just like here in California, ten, home of the 10 round magazines. Okay, better 10 rounds than no rounds. But. If you refer to California, spell it with a K. Because they're killing me. I hate them. So, anywho. Uh, the way I see it, just um, purchase as normal. That's all you can do. So, anyhow. My high respects to T-Electric and Trey57 for kicking my ass in gear. Appreciate that one. And I always got their back. Because I'm part of their secret service. And believe me, I won't mess with this. Oh, no, no, no. Practiced enough. So, like I said, don't worry about the purchases. Just purchase normally. Don't worry about whether if, oh, my God, are they going to track me? Oh, my God, are going to come knocking at my door? Who cares, man? These, uh, these laws are so bad. And Whoopi Goldberg needs a comb over and a brain, too, just like Joy Behar. I don't talk politics. Those women on The View are, uh, you know, I think their idiot brains have gotten fucked by stupid, so it don't matter to me. So anyhow, take care of yourself. I got to go to work. Love ya.